Okay, so we should get started. Um, we have some a lot of stuff to go through, and I know some people can't stay the whole time. So um, really quickly, for people who don't know, this is a weekly Sumo platform meeting where we talk about all kinds of stuff in depth about our support platform. Um, today, we have a bunch of stuff about our information architecture to figure out. It's all sort of related. So, um, I don't know if someone wants to introduce this, maybe I'll give it a shot here. Um, we've got a couple of like interrelated um, issues that we're working on. Um, so, we have a, a current issue where um, we have um, related topics. So, we have um, for desktop, it's not a problem because there's a zillion articles, there's a zillion topics and subtopics. And um, the desktop has articles in all the topics and subtopics. But then, if you look at um, Android, for example, um, it uses all the same main topics as desktop, but it doesn't use all the subtopics that desktop does. So, there are some subtopics shown that then have no articles. So that's a bad user experience. Someone clicks on a subtopic and then there's no articles there. And they're like, hey, what the heck? So um, there is a bug linked there in the Etherpad um, that starts off talking about we should, we should hide subtopics when there are no articles um, in those subtopics. There's a lot of different ways that we could do that. We could just, I think, we could just do something like Say, hey, are there any articles <laughs> here? No, then don't show it. Like that's one uh, solution. Another one, um, uh, which later in that bug, eBuy kind of proposes, is we can have separate hierarchies for each product. So desktop has a list of topics and subtopics. Android has a list of sub -top topics and subtopics. Firefox OS, whatever. They can be the same topics and subtopics um, in some cases, and they can be also completely different is a, is a way to do that. And then that product shows only the products, topics, and subtopics. Um, the situation that we have at this moment, the like second, or I guess it's the second bullet point under fixing related topics, we have a bunch of pages um, like there's a link there to Firefox slash connect dash internet, for instance. Um, oh, and that, yeah. Uh, so now we, we, in our current situation, for desktop um, and for Android, we have a bunch of topics linked in the sub in the sidebar that have that are also blank. Now we have, so we have more blank pages. So I was looking at how we can fix that, and um, this is a long explanation, but um, I mocked this up on Alizam. That's the like third little paragraph there. Michael. Yes. Michael, I think that that's, an, an, that's another topic. I that's think. another topic, Those you think? Two's... Okay. Those are two separated topics. I think that what we, are, what we need to... To discuss in this topic on uh, this this particular meeting at least at the beginning is to find a long-term solution that, that allow us to have a site where the content is a little bit more easy to manage in um, the navigation is more predictable that when we're doing changes in one place we know what's going to happen in the rest of the places because at the moment the problem that we're finding is that whenever we do changes we really don't know how those are going to affect because everything is automated right. in the navigation because we we decided to go that way. So, yeah, basically, I think that it's a fundamental question of how do we want to start moving into a direction where everything is a little bit more expected and easier to manage and it gives us the flexibility that we need. So whenever the Firefox OS needs to make a change, we don't need to go into a committee 
to to decide okay this needs to be like this or like that because otherwise it's gonna break android it's gonna break desktop same the other way around sure uh that whenever desktop needs to change uh we need a new topic because suddenly we're launching social api and we decide that that's a high level topic that if we add that it doesn't break firefox firefox os because firefox os doesn't implement the social api so with that model in mind i think that we at least from what i can see and maybe ricky or any of you have more options there are two really straightforward solutions one is to have a create a layer on top of what we have today that uh, identifies when something is not used by a product and hide it so show it and hide things depending on if it's used or not or just go with a a really straightforward solution that is okay each product has its own tree and each subtopic belongs to a topic and each topic belongs to a single product that way the navigation is self-contained per product and then articles can belong to multiple subtopics i think that 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 should be a straightforward it doesn't have additional implications I, I think Michael, you and I talked about it yesterday, and I think that I'm not missing anything by saying that that would not create any problem. The problem is that when we have topics and subtopics that belong to multiple products and recommendations start uh, starts triggering in one direction or the other. So you're saying each article under this solution, each article belongs to one sub? No. No. So it can belong to multiple subtopics. Just like it can now. So the thing is that think think about files and folders. So okay. the folder architecture is strict, while a file can have copies that are not real copies, are used pointers to the real article in all the different folders. It's like links. Makes sense. Yeah. 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 So I uh -huh. So the, the reason why I was going to talk about what I mocked up on Alizon, because it's sort of what you just, what you just said. Um, it's, it's not done with any code changes, and it's, so it's not exactly the same. It, there's problems. Uh, it, or it doesn't have all the advantages that you just talked about. Um, it works for the moment. So, um, but I commented this in, the, in that, that bug, uh, 877. Uh, seven six eight. I basically I said what you just said, right? Uh, you can have a multiple. You can have a hierarchy per product. Um, an article can still uh, be in multiple products by putting it in the subtop. You know the subtopic or topic where you want it for each product. Um, uh, uh -oh. And as long as what's that? Time. Your audio you're, like, you're back for a while. You're oh, back. oh sorry. sorry. Hello. Anyway. And now the bell's gone. Okay, so I, no, basically I what I wanted to say was I mocked this up on Alizam by creating topics and subtopics for Firefox OS that are not shared uh, by desktop or Android. And I put all the Firefox OS articles only in those topics or subtopics. I use Brahms. I suggested IA as a as a working example. It could be any IA. It doesn't have to be Brahms. It could be anything. Um, but that was one. So so um, yeah. Um, but if you did put an article in a in um, uh, this is where it doesn't work currently is putting an article in more than one place because we'll still then we'll show everything topics and subtitles. It's very confusing. But anyway, yeah. it, it solves some of our problem for today without by just by re-tagging things, I guess. It's, I would like to hear Ricky's opinion because yeah. he was the one suggesting the different, uh, having different trees. Uh, so I guess that that's something that you're on board with. But if you have any concerns or any other ideas or suggestions, it would be good. Um, it sounds like we have to implement it like that as a tree. I mean, I don't, I don't know any other option. 
So we I think have that the, the other option is just to re-index the thing and just hide things as, as we go. But again, that implies cron jobs, it implies additional logic in the code that we already have today. And you know that we share a mission on simplifying things. And also <laughs> and like moving as much code as possible. And like but I think that it's actually from the management point of view, the, the organization, it's a little bit more intuitive. It's like you know that if I do this change, I know what's happening. Yes. As if today I I have no fucking idea what's going on. I'm sorry for my vocabulary. I'm sorry, Ricky, I interrupted. No, I think uh, I don't have any. Uh, that's it. Um, so we have to redo topics per per product. And... Yeah. So I did run into this uh, issue, Ricky, when I was uh, mocking things up on Alizam. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just stop a second. What? So, Ricky, you made a lot of facial expressions there. What are the ramifications of <laughs> of redoing topics per product? Since you're saying that's really our only solution, um, <clears throat> that's that's clean from the code perspective. Did you make a bunch of faces because why? <laughs> uh, I, like to, I like to make faces. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I, it's, I don't see any other option right now. Is this Ricky because we're going to have more products as well? In the future, we may have other products. And this hacking around the current solution without making doing the so-called proper, I'm going to call it the proper solution of higher people product doesn't really uh, make I don't know. I think we ended up in this solution now because because we had the idea that people wanted to select a topic before they selected a product. So in that case, you have to you have to um, share topics across all products. Right now, if somebody goes to the homepage and clicks a topic and then they click Firefox OS, they're not going to get any articles because you remove those articles from those topics. Right? You're using a different yes. set of topics. Yeah. So that's why we have to remove that task-based navigation. And then if we say you always need a product first, then, then we can go this way, and I think it'll be much better. But you guys have been discussing that already before we even did the related topics. OK. Yeah, because that is the biggest problem right now, is you would never find Firefox OS by navigating at this point. If they or select the topic place. first, yeah. If yeah, if they it. try to go through the task-based navigation, which um i've always been behind the task-based navigation i think it's super important so um, um I, I you know I, i'm not pro removing it but uh, i mean we're in pickle right now where we've got to sort of make maybe some hard choices i do think people this is the way people think about finding information so getting rid of it completely sucks why, well, it's why not. Sucks. It's not getting rid of it completely, though. Yeah, it still exists you're, you're, in each product. Right. You just pick the product first. Yeah, but the thing is that people don't pick the product. People come to their product. Uh, support on Mozilla the Dork has almost no traffic. Which is the entry point for topic. Yeah. And that's that's why we decided to create this task-based navigation in the first place. And what we found out when we changed all the pointers to the product page is that that page is, is not used anymore. So we create an architecture to support the previous model, but at the same time that we're creating that new architecture that is okay, uh, task-based or product-based navigation, we also destroy the old model that was, OK, all, everyone comes through support the Mozilla.org. So I, I don't know why you're concerned, Michelle, about removing the task-based navigation, because it's not that important anymore. It's not relevant. It's nobody using it. It's not relevant. Pay, on, 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 it ends on, up there, given our data that we looked at a month. Is that what you're saying? I, I actually had a, a drink with Susan on Friday. Uh, just randomly in Portland, because everyone is in Portland. <laughs> and 
and she was okay i mean she she understood the reasons and it's like yeah i mean on paper it was a great idea i think that we came up with a, a really interesting concept but the truth is that it's not working and the ux people recognize that okay maybe a year ago we we're in a different situation and today the situation is a little bit different so it, what we decided at that time is not relevant anymore You actually ran into her? No, it was like I met Crystal and it was a party and long oh, story. Oh, Portland UX party, awesome. Yeah. That does sound awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Taxonomy, graphics, fonts, maybe discussion of fonts. Um, so, yeah, I, I I hear what you're saying. I mean, I haven't seen all the data that you guys looked at. Um, that shows that no one comes to the top of the site, but I trust you. Um, you know, my, the other concern I have for, you know, the next four weeks is just, I, what I really want <laughs> is stability. Um, that's what I really need for Firefox OS is a stable platform that is not going to change radically between now and the launch of this product because it's all being reviewed and scrutinized and we need something stable. And so none of this points to having that, a stable platform. And so that would be my other concern with making, you know, in addition to the other changes that I've heard about um, with topics um, and the results of the last thing that we ripped out um, that we didn't test. I'm super concerned about stability right now because related topics wasn't tested for the mobile products. Because we so couldn't we... test it, Michelle. Right. We, it, it was a, an urgent solution. We the mistake was to to well, move but, into but, the, uh, one but, direction but, but, in the first place. Okay, right. That's fine. I don't care what the reasons why it happened. Really, I'm just saying that we have too much instability, and I need stability because we have a product launch in four weeks. So we have to limit our choices and limit the changes that we make as much as possible so that we can have, so we know what we're getting in, uh, in four weeks. I, we, I just, if we can avoid surprises, um, then that's, you know, if we know exactly what it means to take out uh, the the task-based navigation right now, and also how that works with the new um, topic stuff that you're planning to land in a couple of weeks. We understand that well, and so we can put that we, on so stage, on stage to see it. Yeah, two things. One is just, um, we haven't had the task-based navigation for mobile, like the mobile site hasn't had, never had the task-based um, navigation. We always we start with the product picker at support.mozilla.org, which is what we're proposing to do from desktop view. So the mobile view of, of the site for the last eight months now has, or whatever it's been, six months, has, has had a task-based, I mean a, a product-based thing to begin with. So in that case, we're just, we're aligning the desktop view with the mobile view. Um, the, uh, the I don't know how that's true, though. I mean, we it's totally go, true when you when mm. when we but for Firefox OS, that's not yeah. when you launch the user guide. The first thing you see is the tasks because right because yeah. you, topics. Right, that's that's what I'm saying in that we're not totally ripping out task based. Task based starts from having picked a product. But in the case of uh, you're on the Firefox OS phone, we know that that's your product. You're on the Firefox OS phone. Just like on desktop, if you select help from the help menu, we know you're on desktop Firefox. So we drop you in product slash Firefox. All we're doing on the Firefox OS phone is dropping you in slash product slash Firefox OS. If you go up one that, level, that won't change. That won't this change. Won't change that. Nope, no, that stays the same. What we're 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 killing is is the ability to come to support.mozilla.org and select 
tasks instead of the product, and and then the product, and then you see the articles. We are saying if you come to support the Mozilla.org, you are forced to select a product first, then a task, yes. and then you go to the subtopic. And that's the way it's been on mobile. That's a, yeah, that's the paradigm that we are killing. The paradigm of I don't really know what product I'm looking uh, help with, but I know what's the task that I'm right. I'm looking. Uh, I understand. I get that. Okay. Uh, so the thing is that to me, and we can put. I mean, we're gonna put this behind a waffle. That's hundred uh, percent for sure. Uh, what I'm. What I, I, I want to tell you is that this is going to change the way the back end works just slightly. I mean, from the user point of view, this is unnoticeable. This is going to be noticed by Michael, by you, by, by Roland, who are working on, on how the content is organized. So uh, what do those changes mean? What will those be like? The changes in the architecture of the site on how the content is organized, how the topics relate to each other. And that way, we're going to make sure that all the problems that we're seeing on, this is a relevant topic for you, this is a related article for you, when it's not because it, there's no content on that product, we kill those problems. We are basically killing problems, and hopefully without creating many new ones. I think that the only new thing that we're going to need is just uh, there's going to be some manual or scripted process on defining which subtopics go to a topic, uh, that's actually already, it's already done. created. So yeah. that, that's already done. Yeah, so maybe then the articles that have multiple subtopics, now they're going to have multiple different subtopics, uh, the, the ones on Android, and uh, maybe that's already done too. It, well, I think, I think the, the one thing that we'll have to do is, as the example eBuy is, so let's say for, for Android, we're going to create almost the same exact navigation tree right? Yeah. Minus a few things. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, and the, about those it. articles may have to be moved then from a desktop tree to the same exact place in the Android tree. Yeah. I think that would be the work to do. Yeah. And then, and then just set the subtopic, right? Like, to, it'll to, be the same. Subtopic, right? No, no. Subtopic Listen. Desktop, subtopic. So for instance, as an example, there, you might have an article that's in Learn the Basics. It's in Learn the Basics, uh, Learn the Basics, or whatever, Customize, and then there's Sync Settings, right? Um, uh, it's on desktop and it's on Android. Um, um, so if we create a duplicate Android tree, it'll only be in one at first, and you'll just have to put it in the other, and then it'll be in both. And then Firefox OS will just have to be, if we, uh, we'll have to put the articles in some place. I mean, depending on what IA you use. You use the current existing IA, you use the one that Brom proposed, um, uh, whatever. It, you'll, we'll have to, we'll just have to make sure all the articles are in the right topic or subtopic. It takes, less than a day to do, if you had to do every single article on the site, it still takes less than a day one person doing it. If it's, um, if, if it's only Android or only Firefox OS, it takes like an hour for one person to do it. So how do you put articles in multiple subtopics? You just edit the description, the metadata? Yep. Okay. So in this case, if it was an well, Android currently. article, then it would, then you would have an Android subtopic, and we have a desktop subtopic, and we make sure that it's in both. If it needs and to be, it may just be only in the Android one. I mean, it would it yeah. would be in both for those things like sync, right? But yeah. if it's like a, a bookmark article, it would be in the get started, and then the bookmark subtopic or something for Android, and we would just move it from the desktop one to the Android one. Um, Michelle, you were saying something. I'm sorry. Um, so in the admin interface, there would be a separate list for each product of topics. 
Yeah, that's that's the next step that we need to figure out how how do we want to represent this in the admin yeah. product and in the description section of the article. Yeah. So we need to make sure that it's it's clear that a topic is relevant to use a, a subtopic and that subtopic or that topic is belongs to Firefox. Like right now, the only problem right now that we're trying to solve is really right now what we're trying to solve is that we have relevant topics that go to empty pages for anything except for desktop. Yeah, that's one problem. And then we have um, new topics that appear in the sidebar for desktop that aren't related to desktop that are blank. Uh, Those are the two problems we're trying to solve. And we have and topics that show up in, just a moment, in the product please. page. Just a minute. Just a minute. And, and the only way to solve those two problems is to separate the trees for, the pro for, for a single tree for each product, which changes the back end, and also take out task-based navigation from the front end. Do I have that right, Ricky? The only it's not the only way to these two problems. Well, I, I guess that solution solves that problem. And it's what we want to do, I think. OK. Um, but there are, of course, other hacky, kludgy ways, right? Oh, as always, scrappy ways. Do mm -hmm. we go? Scope of what's the scope of these changes like what's the duration how long will it take um so i think the hard part is going to be to like uh, like the longer part is going to be to go in and move all the articles around after we have it ready right that doesn't take that takes less than a day um, yeah, I think you're minimizing the, the effort that it takes to do that. I know it doesn't take that long, but it's, you know, you have to jigger with uh, Django enough that it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I mean, I spent hours and hours on it the other day trying to get this to work so I wasn't impacting the other products. I guess you're saying that at the point at which we get to that point, whenever we get to that point, we're not going to have this impact to other products when we make those changes. Correct. Um, we like if if we have the full list of uh, of the of the tree we want, like, and we can put that in the document, and we can script that um, to re tag everything. Yeah, so we can script that, and then <laughs> and then you can go in and tweak it after, right? Like. Like just have an initial setup, and then you can go move stuff afterwards after you verify. I don't know because otherwise you have know. to go create all the topics again. <laughs> like if you tell me what yeah, topics exactly. you want for each product, what's what are the subtopics, right. and if you want to tell me what article goes in where, then then we can do an initial migration with that. I mean, personally, I would love to go back to wiki pages that we could just edit for landing pages. All the automated navigation is so hard and confusing. It's not, it, that's not a possible solution. <laughs> I mean, wiki pages are another solution. It just, it creates a, a maintenance nightmare when we could this, actually. This is a maintenance nightmare. Uh, this mm -hmm. is a huge maintenance nightmare, I think, more so than just you know updating links when you know that they're changing frankly compared to a year ago uh, this is much more opaque and difficult to manage and only admins can do it and it always require, requires engineering um, so I feel like if that is I'll just put it on the table I'm I'm sure you know I'm alone but I thought I should state that that is also part of what I feel um, I don't know, Ricky, if you think that was less maintenance. Uh, the problem was uh, localization because English is always up to date and the locales are all busted because yeah. it's a lot of work on the localizers and, and 
most locales are just abandoned, right? So they'll update maybe once a month and then. So we central with this method we centralize the, the the content management of all the locales in 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 the content manager. If you do that in English, it just solves right. the problem for all the locales. Uh, also, this has only been a problem when we've changed things. So when we put when we initially did this, we did it we did it one time and then things were managed as you created an article or edited an article. Um, we ran into problems in s switching to a, to a new information architecture, but the idea, this is to s fix that. And then the, the thing that Eby is talking about will make it um, much more intuitive and less opaque. Um, it'll, it'll make it much easier to actually be able to see what what changes. And we what. will be able to will be able to maintain everything from our side because we will have the ability to create topics, subtopics that belong to different uh, articles. But instead of doing it on the front end, like you used to do it on the wiki, you do it on the back end. So all the changes you're, that you're doing in English also get populated to uh, all the locales. Uh, so basically. You have all but, the, but we don't have a clear information about how to do that. There's no documentation about how to actually do that or how it's supposed to be done. Um, because we haven't implemented yet. Whenever we implement it, we, we will, I no. will take responsibility on documenting this. We have a system, right? I'm just saying we have a system right now that's not documented. Correct. So we'll have nobody a really understands. Nobody really understands how it works perfectly. So I I don't think I heard what the scope was, Ricky. How long? Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I've, uh, it might take. I, I have to look at it closer, but. Um... Yeah, just a guess. Like, is it a month project? Is it no, like no. a sprint or? Um, I think put I, um, all these together with the topic pages and you know with what you're doing right now plus this um, so the topic pages are sort of separate I think we can do that in parallel um, Brianna is working on that so so I what, what I want, want to do is create a like uh, like have a, like a parallel universe right have the current system just leave that as is the topics and then create a new topic um, model based on products and and just have that uh so they'll, they'll be there at the same time and then with the waffle flag we'll switch between both systems so that you can um so that you can make sure that the new one is working before you switch to it uh but so so, so then once we like land that then like you and michael have to go in and make sure that the articles are in the right place and everything so that might take a while, but that's why I, I, if we can initially do a migration that does most of that for you all, then it'll be much quicker. But how long is a while for you in your mind? So, so I think it'll take a few days to do like the, 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 the actual implementation changes, like a week or maximum or something. Okay. And I can help uh, uh, Eva document this because we need that. Yeah, sort of how things will be numbered. If there's this, I we am, just have yeah. this big numbered list right now. That's that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> right. So the the advantage of this thing uh -huh. would be there would be a list per product. So you could see, yeah. for instance, if you were going to add a subtopic to a topic in Firefox OS, you would know that that would only show up under that topic in that product Firefox OS, and it won't show up anywhere else and break anything or vice versa. If we add a new topic to desktop, to the desktop tree, and you'll see it in the desktop list, it'll only show up there and it won't show up as empty somewhere else and break another product. That's the advantage. It'll be much more like what you see is what you get kind of thing. So the advantage you just said are new topics don't affect other products, new subtopics don't affect other products. Right, instead of having to do this like number jiggering thing, that's, you know, 
doesn't work really. Right. Um, and it's easy to break it, like all the exceptions I created last week when I did that. Yeah. <laughs> um, what? So we'll get a list for each top for each product. Does that include marketplace and persona? Because I do think we will need them for those two products also. We definitely have Android, Firefox OS, and desktop. The question is, is marketplace and sync a product? Is that what your question is? Yeah, sync is not a product. Marketplace, last... I said persona, not sync. Right. Marketplace yeah. and persona. So yeah. I have a little bit of information. I talked to Patrick this last week, and he wants to keep, for now, marketplace within uh, the Firefox OS content. So until this, this will be we create a product when we have when we want to have that product at the top level. So we want to have a slash marketplace or a slash persona. For now, I think that we are not quite there. With marketplace, uh, Patrick again he explicitly said that he wanted to keep it within Firefox OS. With persona, I know but, that but, they have... right, but wanting to do it and not having him not having any experience with putting these articles into topics and subtopics is something different. Um, so where do those, so then those articles all end up tagged with topics for Firefox OS? Is that what the, the marketplace result would be? Is, marketplace is a topic within Firefox OS like we do have today. And Persona? Persona we do have the persona content that belongs in different places in different products. And I think, so the last conversation that we had six months ago, Michael, yep. was that we really didn't want to promote it in the, in the main page yet. It's its own product, but, but it's we not are promoted on the we, main page. Yeah, exactly. So, so does that mean it's own a hierarchy? So it would, it, I guess under this model, it would have its own hierarchy. Um, although it doesn't have enough articles to have a hierarchy, there's like four or five articles, so they can just all be listed on the main persona landing page. But if, for instance, um, uh, in each product, if you want to have some or all of those articles show up, you make a persona topic or, you know, or you just add it to like, um, the marketplace topic under Firefox OS, you also put persona articles in that topic, they'll show up there also. And, and then when you can do something like, also like marketplace doesn't do anything for desktop or Android at the moment, or maybe it does for like Android nightly or something, but when, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But when it's on release, then um, you add marketplace articles to relevant topics in those products and they'll show up and then if it needs to be its own product like it's this thing that people with other browsers and other platforms are using then we can in addition make it its own uh, uh, product with its own uh, tree if it needs it yeah. I bet that Ricky is already considering that we we are going to have the ability to to create new products from the back end, from the admin section. That way he forgets about this damn thing <laughs> as soon as the, the solution is complete. Oh, so you already have flexibility to do it. You already can, except for AAQ. Yeah. The AAQ system is still not that there, but the rest of this. Right. So that's, I'm glad you bring that up because um, other things you guys, you know, uh, that, that we need for Firefox OS, I think, that are still coming. Um, and we, we have such a short timeline um, that that's why I keep asking the question of how long. I mean, a few days, a week. Um, I think we need to at least, get, you know, try to scope out the different changes that we're talking about so we can understand what the timeline is going to be. And um, and I think using the waffle flag is good so that we can, you know, if we run out of the time, we have the current site, right? 
we have the current set of things, the current architecture that we'll use until things are totally ready. Right? I mean, we can keep working on it um, without showing it to users, right? But we have to not have pressure from the desktop product to turn it on because of, you know, whatever changes you want to make, Michael. You, we have to not have that kind of um, pressure over, you know, the next, as we finish up quarter here. Not, right? I'm not sure what the, pressure I, you're talking about. I just want the ability to, to wait. Um, like with the related topics, that change, like we've heard here, was, you know, an urgency change. And I don't want to have urgency changes over the next month. Well, we do have is to... That po is that possible? Is that possible to not have urgency changes? Well, this should all be um, fixed with, well with under less than a month. We should yeah. be able to move to this in less than a month. The, the thing that we have right now is, is broken for, there's broken pages for, you know, lots yeah. and lots of desktop uh, visitors. Yeah, way way more sure. visitors than we have on Android or Firefox OS. Well, that, right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know, well, I, I can't, you know, I, I know we need to resolve that but we don't want yet more breakage, right? I mean, I think that's exactly what I'm talking about is... is um, Nobody wants more right. breakage. I mean, it seems that you're implying that we want to break the site. No, I would never imply that. <laughs> Nobody wants to break the site, including me. Okay, um, so that we are all on the same know. page. I, I just want to have want more um, as much stability as we can over the coming month. Um, right. Uh, but we want to solve the problems. I, I, I agree with you that we need to be as stable as possible, but we also need to solve the problems that we have today in preparation of, of Firefox OS. And we need to ship things for Firefox OS, as you mentioned. Right. And shipping always has risks. We are going to try to mitigate them as much as possible. And we cannot really warranty 100% that there's not going to be uh, a break for hours. So it sounds so, like we need to um, get an estimate for Ricky and you yeah. and I start working on the manual of how we see it working. Exactly. Because Ricky writes the code and then that will help, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's a pretty simple manual, right? <laughs> Just Go to this back end page, create your subtopic or topic. We're not going to talk about things like creating products. So I guess what we've decided is that we will not have the ability to create products, but we can quickly add that ability later. We do not need to create separate products for marketplace and persona. Is that what we decide? In this initial first um, iteration, the last next four weeks. No, we have a product already for, mar for, for them. I, we probably need to keep them. Oh, we do? Already? Okay. Yeah, it's just that it's not visible, basically. Right. At the right. top okay. level. So, yeah. Marketplace and Persona will not be visible, but they are there, full fledged yeah. products, except for this ask a question uh, missing functionality that we could add later. Mm -hmm. um, so, and this will resolve all the related issues, all the issues we have with related because really everything that's related is a little bit it's almost right but not quite right, we have our a lot of cross product pollution <laughs> in anything that's a related topic or a related question or related article or related anything so this will we want to resolve that with this fix also mm -hmm. or we think that this fix will resolve that too I don't, does this do anything Is about that questions? that how related works? I don't know if this does anything about questions, no. though. Not, not necessarily. How, this is just for the KB. Uh, okay. We don't know, how do related questions, how does that work, Ricky? Related questions. Uh, that's just, uh, it just does a search. Um, 
that's not affected at all. It just looks into it does a search for the title of the article. Oh, and it just finds related the... questions. Uh, okay. Is it the same thing for oh. articles? The related articles thing? Yeah. Okay. So those two are oh. that's a separate those two are separate things, not related to the IA. No. Yeah, one of the main issues with the questions is that the tagging is still because we rely on the users to do it, it's a little bit weak sometimes. Any questions? Okay. Um. So on the list also is um, breadcrumbs and product naming for articles that are in two products. So, right. So I think, um, and this is this is also written up in that in that bug eight seven 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 six eight. But I think mm -hmm. the idea is you can show the so if someone's browsing the site. We can just use the, the, this new per product tree as the breadcrumb. So they start on Firefox OS, and then they select Get Started, and then they select Tips and Tricks. That's the breadcrumb. So if they, if they drill down. Right. If they are. We don't show, we don't show the breadcrumbs, I think, is what you're saying. Next. Is that right? So even, even if the article is in multiple products, we show them the breadcrumb that they've followed. If they started with Firefox desktop, we show them the Firefox desktop breadcrumb. If they started with Android, we show them the Firefox Android breadcrumb. If they come, the, the problem is, is they come from search. So, so then what, uh, well, it's only a problem for an article that exists in, in multiple products. So then what breadcrumb do you show? Or, and what product do you show at the top? Um, and that's where, I don't know, we're working that out in the bug, I guess. The things that I thought that, you know, we could do, some of the suggestions have been, we show no um, uh, breadcrumb. Or, um, and we have a hierarchical list of products, like, you know, if it, if it's in, if it applies to desktop, you know, we'll default to desktop if it's, um, you know, we'll have like a hierarchical list of prioritized products and whichever one it belongs to that's the highest, we'll show that or something. Um, that's one way to do it. Okay. Okay, so that's separate. Those don't get fixed by this change for the separate trees. The, it, makes the, it makes doing the breadcrumbs easier, I think. Because for, for almost all articles, then, it ha they have only one breadcrumb. That's the problem right now, is that most articles, or many articles, have multiple, they have multiple trees. In this case, um, most articles will have only one tree, so we know what breadcrumb to show. Okay. And we could fix this problem by copying the article. The breadcrumb problem by copying the article. But that would create another pro that creates several a other side effects. Yeah, I know. And then you have this whole include. Should we just use the uh, templates and includes and things? Yeah. But then they all show up in search. You get multiple results yeah. of the same yeah. article in search and stuff like that, which is not good. We actually discussed about that yesterday for a little bit. And I think that. It doesn't pay off all the problems that you generate. It doesn't pay off the ability to have a, a breadcrumb. Right. So yeah, the conclusion was so. There's two solutions: show no breadcrumb or show hierarchical list of prioritized products. And it's the simplest, simplest solution is show no breadcrumb. They come from search. Right. And this only affects the multi-product articles, which are few. Yeah. So I mean. And and hopefully we can move away eventually from the multi uh, product articles uh, we as we move forward if we keep that in mind and eventually if we can just i don't know have a sync article that is for desktop but a sync, a sync article that is 
from the mobile perspective in mobile. Right. Maybe in a year time, we we reevaluate where we are and we say, okay, there is only two articles that have that apply to multiple products, and then we can just focus on one article per uh, a subtopic per article, a topic per subtopic, a, a product per topic, and then suddenly you have a beautiful hierarchy that makes everything simple and organized. But we're not quite there, so this is just, maybe we can be moving in the different direction, in the, in the opposite direction. Uh, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we, we are there. Okay, so um, who's on the hook for the plan for what we're going to roll out each week of the next month? That's so something that, so that, that uh, we can know what, what's coming. Uh, that's something that I'll be working on with Ricky and the team until Kadir is back. And mm -hmm. next next week, I'm going to be with them in Mountain View. So that's probably a week when a lot of these things are going to happen. And as soon as they are in, but can you just in production take the time with the today to Can you take the time today to write down a summary of what you think we're rolling out next month? so that we can all share it and review it and say, yep, that's what I heard in this meeting and that's what we decided. Can you do that today? Well, we can do that right I now. I can do that. Bit. Right. We, so I think what we just said we were going to do was we're going to remove the, the task-based navigation from support.mozilla.org. We're going to go to a per product uh, uh, topic, subtopic trees, and we're going to do those things under a waffle flag so that we can set this up and test it uh, um, before we make it live. In parallel with that, we're developing the new landing topic and subtopic page looks. Is that right, Ricky? That's right. And, <clears throat> and we also, for Firefox OS, we need to, we, we still need to implement the alert system um, with the knock. Yeah. And we'll be doing that. So I think we should uh, rethink like our whole roadmap, like for the time being um, until Firefox OS is out and stuff. Like we should just not do crazy things, focus on getting ready for Firefox OS. Cause I mean, right now we, we're, we're finding things that, um, that we didn't know about. So if we can focus on, on just keeping the site stable and not breaking things, fixing things that are broken um, and doing things that maybe aren't, that don't affect users, maybe contributor stuff and stuff. Um, I think that might be like the, the least risky thing to do at these times because cause we, we need to be ready for, for any issues that come up related to Firefox OS, right? It's the most important thing for Mozilla right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So and everybody is looking at this right now. It's really being scrutinized um, by all of our partners and everyone internally. And so the more stability, the better. I totally agree with that. So that's why I need sort of like a list from you. Maybe, Ricky, you are the one to say, like, here's the things we're actually going to attempt to do that we feel very confident are not going to cause any other breakage. These are the things we actually think we're going to fix and when we think we're going to do that over the next month. And if that's just one thing, or two things, that's, I'm perfectly fine with that. I would rather go slow and have stability. So, or is that TBD? Sorry? Did we make a decision on breadcrumbs or is that or a separate petition? Oh, we lost Ricky. But I think that that's TBD still. Yeah. We, I, I think that we can live with that. Right. Yeah, right. it's not breadcrumbs, no breadcrumbs. Big that's, issue. that's later on down the road, it feels like. Yeah. So, okay. Ricky, yeah, were you I, just talking I, about breadcrumbs? The, the problem is only with multi product articles, of which there are a few. Yeah. Um, but I think there's some proposed solutions there. Yeah. yeah. But, but we, we, we do want to add those breadcrumbs, right? They're pretty important. Yeah. And the waffle flag will be our way to sort of back out of. 
um, changes that break other things, right? So the, the waffle flag is so you can go set up the new system without user without affecting users. So only like you and whoever else wants to see the new system can see it. And then where will, we can where will we, we be able to see it? We'll be able to see it on production. Yeah. Yeah. As a admin user when we're logged As in. A, what like we can assign it to whoever. So we could also create like a test group like we did for the redesign. Okay. So that other people can help. Um, we have a way to back out um if for some reason we push something that that breaks something else do we have a way to roll back content edits um so that we don't have the situation that we had this month so we'll keep the old system right there until until we are happy with the new system right so okay. you can flip between so we, but we won't technically have to back out okay but um, so so right right now this week I mean we're on, we're finishing our sprint and there's things there that uh, well there's the redesign of those topic pages but it's mostly minor things but I can work with I mean me um, Evi and me can work next next week together yeah. to to plan the next sprint and we can just look further for a whole month ahead and and list what we want to do okay. let's do that. And then Roland and even work on doc documentation for the admin stuff. So we know when we get there yeah, how uh, we're supposed to use the damn thing. <laughs> like yeah. I can start working know, on there that. Are yeah, the constraints of Django that we should after my whole issues whatever. The, after my whole issues the minutes for this meeting, I can start working that tomorrow while we'll starting user pad. And you buy and I can collaborate on that so it's clear and sort of back end user interface that we imagine so that Ricky and Ivana and all of us are on the same page. Yep. Okay. And I think maybe we should have a time in our in one of our meetings that we have lots of meetings together anyways, so maybe we should have dedicated time to work on this in one of our common meetings already. Maybe this meeting every week we talk about it for the next four weeks. I don't know. Work on what? On the progress of this, whatever development items. Yeah, well, that's what we do every week. Yeah. yeah. So let me just make it part of this meeting. Just decide yeah. that we should be coming to this meeting, I guess. I know this is a regular conflict for me, so that's why I'm not here. If this time could change, that would help me. Um, I mean, there are no Europeans on this call, and so if we could move it later in the day. No, no. Because normally, that's no, only no, because no. they're not here today. Normally, it's fully yeah. Europeans. This is, the, this is one of the only times that works for, for the majority of people. Yeah. Right. OK. Fine. Well, do we uh, feel like sure. Among Us, me, you know, Verdi, Ebay, me, do we have the alignment that we need or do we need to have another separate conversation tomorrow with David to make sure that we are all aligned and that we don't need to make more decisions? He and I had a long conversation about this yesterday and he wants to make sure that, you know, if, if we need a resolution or more alignment, if we don't feel like, if you guys don't feel like I'm aligned, with what you're doing or whatever, we can have another meeting um, with David as our arbiter <laughs> to make sure that we have the alignment that we need. How do you guys feel? Do you want that meeting? I'm happy to set it up. I think that we have a plan. Yeah. Okay. There's no need on just having more meetings. Just, we just need to start executing. Michael, we're good. I think so. Okay. We didn't get to talk through your mock-ups, but I'll look through them, um, what you have on stage. And um, what do you, do you want next steps for that? Or was there, you know, more we should talk about, about that? No, the, the mock, so the, uh, the, we can ignore the mock-up. The mock-up is basically a uh, almost, a per product IA done with the tools that we have today. 
Um, and this solves some, but not all of the problems um, because it's not the full per product IA. Um, anyway. So it just uses topics with only Firefox OS articles in them? Right. Um, so right, which, that's what I did on, that's what we have on production right now, basically. Right. Yeah. I think the, the, well, the issue is, is that what we have on production, the Firefox OS articles also share some topics with desktop and then the way they're numbered, they're numbered. Yeah, they do. They don't though. Pri How do they share? Privacy and security settings. There's a, there's a whole bunch of. No, see, uh, but I don't know. I can't find where those Firefox OS articles are. I can't find any Firefox OS articles that are tagged with privacy and security. Like that one is a hanger on. It, it won't disappear oh, okay. from the landing page, even though nothing is tagged with it. Oh, um, do, do you know why that would be the case, Ricky? Um, Sorry. It so shows four articles. Privacy on production? Yep. Four Firefox OS articles. Yep. There's four Firefox OS See, articles. They and That was so that was the hardest thing that I went through last week was that I could not get rid of the articles in that topic and it kept showing up um, Yeah, the topic keeps showing up even when it has no articles in it. That's I don't know why that is. I thought I thought it was just a caching right. issue. Right. I could take them out and it still wouldn't no, I mean, I spent hours trying to find articles tagged with privacy and security, and there were none, and it would still show up and be empty. So I think I put those back into it because I just fucking gave up. Okay. The other, the other issue is away, so. that there's Firefox OS topics numbered so that they're inserted into the list of desktop uh, topics, and if you number them differently, like I did on staging, then uh, they won't show up on desktop and vice versa. Um, Weird. But the whole thing is, How, yeah. the, the whole thing is, is that uh, if we're going to change all this stuff over the next few weeks, we'll j it's just easier to change all this stuff and re-tag everything at, when we're done making the back-end changes. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, that doesn't feel easier at all to me, honestly. There's so much to do. Well, I can, I mean, <laughs> adding that in. I can re tag the like, Firefox oh, OS God. articles the way I did it on stage. It took me about 45 minutes. You know, it probably took me 45 minutes because I had to work out what in the world to do. Uh, but I can replicate that on production in, I don't know, 30 minutes. It's not that difficult. That will be nice. I will, of course, retag the Android articles. Uh, but I use Brahms IA rather than, I didn't use the IA that you have today on production for Firefox OS. I use Brahms. Uh, but it doesn't, it could be any IA. Right. Um, yeah, uh, we've been working on that together so we're pretty close um but the privacy and security category i'd love to just blow it away it sounds like a bug of some sort <laughs> well it's just out of balance with all the rest so okay well we're way over time thanks for helping me understand so what, what i think we're doing what do we do with that uh can we finish it over email? What do we uh, do with what? With what do we have in in the staging? Do we want to move it to prod? Move what? Uh, do you want no. the stuff that's on stage? The, the Firefox OS organization that's on stage, do we want to move that to production? Yeah. No. That way we can fix what we have. Uh, It'll, it'll um, fix a, a number of problems. Not every problem, but it fixes a number of problems. Yeah. Which ones? It fixes all the blank uh, pages that show up for desktop users. So that fixes the problem for the vast majority of our users today that exist on the site. And it, 
leaves in place the problems that we already had that that the current is still not fixed one way or the other on the site. So there are still, for instance, if you go to Firefox for Android, there are still subtopics that have no articles in them that show. But the thing that I have on staging fixes things for desktop and it keeps intact a fixed state for Firefox OS. So it makes things no. It has the wrong topics at the top. Um, the top topics are important um, to be the right ones, and I don't think these are the right ones. Well, because I use Brahms, and and other than privacy and security settings, which seems to have not gone away over the last hour or whatever, it's two hours. Um, those are Brahms, but they can be anything else. It doesn't matter. They can be the ones so that could. they could be the ones that you made. It doesn't matter. It, it's arbitrary, but it's the it's the back end organization that I did that fixes things. Right. So let's just document what it is that you did, <laughs> so that everyone knows how it's supposed to be done. That's the thing. That's the problem. It's like that nobody else knows, but you and Kadir how things are supposed to be done so they don't impact other things. Right. So can you just document what you did? Well, here's the thing. So I can spend time documenting what I just did that no one will ever use again because we're about to change but that it. That should still apply. That should still apply to the new the Django that no. we get after no. this nope. splits up to nope. some extent. Nope. It will like the No, it won't. It won't. That's we the thing. We want to kill the complexity. We're going to we're going to kill this complexity. So that's the thing. I can document what I just did. Uh, it'll take me less time to actually just implement it. And then we're going to change the way it works over the next couple of weeks. No. For, that's okay. okay let, let's, Let me let's take a look it, at Michael. it. All right. Let's I, document I can... it, please. All right. Let's document it. We'll document it. Thank you. I don't mean to frustrate anyone. <laughs> we just changed everything okay. a few days ago, and I've just only seen this one hour ago, and so I just need time to look at it. I need some documents that describe, you know, what we're doing okay. and how things are supposed to work, so that I can understand it fully. That's okay. I now I, I think I can document it in a few minutes. I, I've got it. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I just. I, it sounds like we need a um, better UI or UX, whatever you call it, for organizing documents. Yeah, we um, have. I think that we, <laughs> yeah, this might actually be helpful, Michael, to document it. Ricky, like, if we move to, we I'll could do that doing. if we can get some downtime next few weeks. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> go ahead. If we move to a, a more solid structure, I think that it's easier to to create that visual organization of the content because at the moment the problem is that there's no it's just a chaos that just whenever the front end uh, starts putting together all the content that we have in the back end it just creates the organization so it's really hard to understand how it works but if we have a, a solid hierarchy in the front end and in the back end we can make that more visual so you have articles that we could even do a drag and drop like, okay, I'm writing this article, this goes here, and we can think about those things after we do this, yeah. this change, I think. And that will be for dummies, content yeah. organization for dummies. Like you could have a, that, yeah, just a page that shows all of the whole tree and then, yeah, just drag and drop and it retags stuff for you and yeah. click save. Yeah, that would be amazing because having to, it's literally like four or five clicks to get into every single article, you know, to that spot where you select the topic. Um, so it really takes forever to tag a set of um, articles and check it all to see where things actually end up. So it would be good to just have like the list of knowledge base articles for a product and be able to set them to the tags all at, as a group on one page instead of going in and out of each each article and then into the description because it's always closed by default and then into the down to the topic and tag the topic and then save it. I mean, it's literally, you know, four or five, six things 
for every single article and if you fuck it up then you got to go back and do it again so that's what I mean for maintenance I don't it could be um, it could be better because then you realize, oh, I have now I have a topic that's... But, I mean, I know we're going to try to fix this with the slit trees. Um, so it won't be as, as taxing if you don't... If you're not impacting other products with what you're doing, you're only screwing up your own product. <laughs> um, but, yeah, something like that would be nice. <clears throat> okay, I'll look at the mock-ups. Um, Okay, look at the, everybody look at the actions and decisions that I, I wrote up. Is that, that's what we just said, right? Let me see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was. Yeah, how you set up your current system on page. Right now. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Okay, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.